Today I'm going to take you shopping for some bare essentials here in Bangkok, Thailand. Right now we're at the Lotus Supermarket here in the An Nut area. They are getting all ready for summer. Look at this display. This is something I definitely would have expected to see in the US. I need to grab a whole bunch of different things, so I'm going to show you prices of what everyday items cost here in Thailand. Right now we're in the tool aisle and I'm looking for some AA batteries. Panasonic name brand AA's are 99 Thai baht and at the current exchange rate of 34 and a half Thai baht to the dollar. This is approximately $3. However, I just need some cheap batteries for remote control, and these are only 55 baht, which is about $1.15. I swore I wouldn't complicate my life when I moved here and buy a lot of extra things, but I have ended up buying a bunch of t-shirts. So I've come here to the coat hanger aisle to get some coat hangers, and these are the ones that I like. 39 baht for six of them, so that is approximately a dollar and five cents. There's two big chain supermarkets here in Thailand. There's Lotus and there's Big C. And I just find that Lotus tends to have a lot more selection and better prices overall. They've got everything from furniture and bedding all the way to televisions, washing machines, appliances, clothing. I mean, you name it, the store really has it. The only downside is that it's about a 15 minute BTS ride from where I live, but I only come here once every two or three months just to stock up on necessities. Men's underwear, 189 baht, about five and a half, six dollars. Not to leave you ladies out, here we have bras for 109 baht, which is approximately three dollars. So Lotus is really kind of like, I guess, a Kmart super center, something like that if you have one of those in your country. Two liter of Pepsi is 34 baht, which is basically $1 US. I'm gonna stick to giving you prices of things that I know and baby formula and baby stuff. Well, I, that's, you're not gonna get that from me. <laughs> the next thing I'm looking for is toothpaste. And oh, I found the toothpaste aisle. But finding toothpaste here is not as easy as you think. I definitely want one of these. This is mint toothpaste, and you would think it'd be easy to find with all these other toothpastes. However, the majority of the toothpaste here in Thailand, they have salt in them. I'm not really sure why, but I just don't like that taste. So this one here is just regular mint, and this is 60 baht, which is about $1.85. And right next to the toothpaste, I found the other thing I'm looking for, which is conditioner. Both the shampoo and conditioner that I use, the Dove brand, is 109 baht, and that is approximately $3.15. And I'm not joking about the salt thing. Just let me show you. Look at this right there. Salt, salt, and even black toothpaste with salt. Not sure how that would taste. Actually, when I first moved here a year ago, I must have bought three or four tubes of the salt toothpaste because I couldn't translate it correctly. I kept buying the wrong thing. It was so annoying. And even your Gillette Mach 3 razors, they're not cheap here. So you get basically six razors, 529 baht, which is approximately $14 US. Listerine mouthwash, 135 baht, approximately $4 US. And this must be a universal trick of supermarkets because they always like to move things. So every time you come back every few months, things are in different place. Right now I'm looking for body wash and I can't find it. Found the giant aisle of body wash and I found the one that I like, this uh, Detol. What is this, cucumber, melon, whatever? It is buy one, get one free for 199 baht, which I believe is going to be right around $7 for the pair. Lotus has an excellent food section. There's tons of different food here, both fresh and prepared. We'll definitely hit that after I finish shopping for all the things I came here that I needed myself. Paper towels are notoriously hard to find here. Not many people use them. Let me rephrase that. Paper towels were hard to find because I was not looking the first time I came here. Now there is a whole section that I must have missed. And I'm gonna grab this six pack of Scott paper towels at 129 baht. That's just a little under $4. Next up is toilet paper. And there's so many different choices here. I mean, it is a huge aisle, but I'm gonna go with the Scott. I'm gonna go with the 24 pack. It is 249 baht, which I believe is right around eight dollars next we're in the household cleaning supplies area and i'm looking for something to clean my bathroom i can't seem to find any kind of uh, bleach based products so i'm gonna have to make do with uh, something else today i've bought this brand before it works okay but uh, i want to try something different we'll try this mr muscle 64 baht a little under two dollars us tablets to keep the toilet bowl clean 79 baht aka two dollars us 
Another absolute essential here is to have little travel packs of tissue, either for bathroom or just when you're somewhere and you need napkins. Absolutely essential, carry these. 37 baht, basically just a little over a dollar for three packs. The next up is probably my least favorite aisle, and that is the detergent aisle, because there are so many different detergents here in Thailand, I don't even know which is which. Fortunately, I only use the little blue pill tablet things, whatever, so those are pretty easy to find. 25 of these pods, 259 baht. That is approximately $8 US. I need to grab some of these scotch Bright sponges, three pack for 35 baht, which is basically $1. And also some of these that won't scratch things. Uh, another, it's a three pack, 48 baht, which is about $1.15. Okay, I've seen more detergent than I would care to. Let's go on and shop for some other things. For those of you wondering about pet food, there is plenty of it here. There's one aisle of dog food and cat food. And just to give you an idea, this 2.7 kilogram bag of pedigree is 239 baht, which is about seven and a half dollars. As promised, cat food. We've got a 1.2 kilogram bag of cat food, 115 Thai baht. That's a little under $4 US. Might as well take you down the adult beverage aisle. And many of you might or might not know, but alcohol sales are only permitted between 11 and two in the afternoon and then five in midnight. This is at stores. Bars can sell all day long as well as restaurants. Imported products are quite expensive here. For instance, this uh, Great Goose vodka is 2009 baht, which is $58 US. Uh, we've got over here red label, black label, all sorts of stuff from different countries as far as scotch and whiskey, bottle of Dewar's, 12 years, 750, uh, 1449 so that's about uh, $50. And yes, the imported alcohol here is quite expensive. However, if you like whiskey, there's quite a few local brands. And for instance, this bottle here, it's 0.7 liters of Thai whiskey Hong Tong, will set you back 253 baht, so that is right around $7. Six pack of Heineken, 234 baht, which is again around $7.5. Meanwhile, a six pack of Singha, which is a local Thai beer, will set you back 205 baht, which is right around six bucks. If you're a wine aficionado, it's gonna be a little tough for you to find good wines at regular supermarkets. You will have to go to a specialty store because most of the wines here are not gonna be that great. Here's a bottle I'm familiar with, 19 crimes, 599 baht, approximately $17 US. So the prices definitely are much higher. Even something like Jacob's Creek is almost 600 baht, which again is right around 17, 18 dollars. As much as I love the blue Gatorade, which is 26 baht, about 75 cents, I found that this stuff here, zero sugar is much tastier. Yeah, that's a whole aisle of soda. Thais love their sugar. They'll put sugar in everything. I'm, I mean everything, salads, soups, you name it. Everything's gonna have a little bit of sugar. And when you ask for less sugar, you're still gonna get a lot. And of course, let's not forget drinking water. It's essential you drink plenty here. These are 49 baht each or three for 150. So for one of these packages of six large bottles, you're looking at about $1.40 US. And uh, these are 1.5 liter water bottles. Oh, I haven't seen these in a while. The Pompolo San Pellegrino. Yeah, 55 baht, about $1.30. But I'm gonna grab a couple of these for sure. Another great thing about Lotus is they have a bulk section. They've got a whole aisle that's filled with nothing but products in bulk. So it's kind of like a Costco. You can stock up on larger quantity of items if you have a big family. So just to give you an example, this uh, maxi pack of six packages of Lay's potato chips is 103 baht or two for 200. So you're basically looking at 100 baht. That's right around $3 for six bags of potato chips. This again is probably the most dangerous aisle in here for me. It is the import its snacks and cakes and cookies and oh my goodness Pepperidge Farm cookies haven't seen these for a while 159 baht for a bag that's approximately what's gonna be about four or five dollars these are my favorite enough to get some of these 82 baht about two dollars fifteen cents I love the Haribo gummy bears and these guys this is a sour mix 34 baht one dollar you have to try it okay I think I have to get out of this snack aisle before I keep buying more stuff. I want to show you guys the fresh food, the vegetables, all that stuff. One last thing, I swear we're out of here. This Lint Intense Dark Chocolate, so good. 175 baht, it's pretty pricey. That's right around $5. 
We are now in the chip aisle. Yes, this whole aisle is nothing but chips. And I want to point out something very interesting. If you have Pringles in your country, you've seen these tubes. And for instance, here, 39 baht, it's about $1.05. But this is a smaller tube than we got in the US. The diameter is smaller and the height is taller. The American tube would be about this tall and it would definitely be a little bit larger than this one. This is how people stay skinnier here. They eat less junk food. Speaking of junk food, what is your favorite junk food? I would love to know down in the comments below. We can't skip rice. We are in Thailand, of course. So all of these bags here is different varieties. They're all five kilograms. They all range from about 160 to 230 baht, which is the equivalent of about $7 US for a five kilo bag of rice. There is obviously no way I'm gonna be able to give you a tour of this entire store. So we're just gonna walk some aisles and I'm gonna show you some of the most popular things that I think people will be interested in. For instance, here we are at the jam section. We've got these smaller jars of Smucker's Jam, 12 ounces, 159 baht, approximately four and a half dollars. Whereas, a, uh, this is a medium sized jar of Skippy, is 194 Thai baht, which is right around seven dollars US. Coffee, it's definitely a newer drink here in Thailand, and I don't drink coffee, so I probably can't give you a good idea of what coffee costs, but just for example, a jar of Nescafe Gold is 349 baht. That is $10 US for that size, and some of these Nescafe packs are 29 Thai baht, which is a little under a dollar US. Good old Campbell's chicken noodle soup and other varieties, 74 per can. So that's a little over $2, definitely more expensive than used to in the US. Uh, baked beans, a can of baked beans, 49 baht, about a dollar 40, something like that. We got olives here, small olives with pimento, 69 baht, that's $2 US. Tuna fish, 42 Thai baht, a little over a dollar 10. I would have to say that Thailand's number one condiment is ketchup. Yes, ketchup, they put this on everything. Pizza, pasta, I mean, you name it, steak, it goes onto everything. 159 baht for the large package one, and that's right around $7 US. I'm probably the wrong person to show you cooking ingredients because I don't cook. So as I'm walking down this aisle of condiments, all I'm really familiar with is like ketchup, sriracha, cooking oil, some basics like that. I haven't had sliced cheese in quite some time. I'm gonna get the large pack, 278 baht for this Chestdale brand, and that is around $7 US. Butter can be quite expensive, and even this butter here, although it is from Australia, 70 baht for one stick, which is $2. I don't eat yogurt often, but I absolutely love this coconut yogurt, and this is a four pack, 58 baht under $2 for four yogurts, absolutely a bargain. We're now getting more into the fresh food section and it is one o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't eaten a single thing today. So I'm gonna show you through here. I'm definitely gonna pick up some things for lunch today. Two kilogram bag of, I don't know, are these Pikachu French fries? No idea, it's Lotus's own brand, two kilograms, 320 baht, a little under $10. It's about $9.40. Here we have chicken breast. It is 65 baht per kilogram. A kilogram is 2.2 pounds and 65 baht is $1.90. So you're looking at about a dollar per pound for chicken breast. And yes, just like you can see right now, you use these tongs over here. You just grab a bag and you grab your own chicken breast, put it in a bag, and then they will weigh it for you. Ground pork, probiotic fed, 185 baht per kilogram. That is $5 per kilogram for this probiotic fed ground pork. Chicken drumsticks, 76 baht per kilogram, a little over $2 per kilo. But Serge, I don't want chicken, I don't want pork, I want something a little more exotic. Well, okay, no problem. Do you like chicken feet? Here you go. We got tons and tons of chicken feet, 106 baht per kilogram, that's $3 per kilo. Things like pork and chicken are pretty inexpensive here in Thailand. But once you start getting into some things like this fresh Norwegian salmon here, you're looking at 1,450 baht per kilo, which is $42. That is quite pricey. I know it's Norwegian salmon, but here, $42 per kilogram. That is extremely expensive. Whereas all the other regular fish, the white fish, it's pretty inexpensive. It's approximately $10 per kilogram, as you can see here. Look at these guys. It's a little over $1.15 per kilo. So many good looking fish here. Fresh squid, 127 baht per kilogram. That works out to be a little under $4. Pork chops, 155 baht per kilogram, a little over $4. You like hot dogs? Here you go. Here's a package of, looks like, I don't know, 12 hot dogs, 135 baht, 
overall the food here in Thailand at supermarkets is very inexpensive when you compare it to Western standards. Now, that all changes when there's things that are being imported here that becomes a lot more pricey. So it really depends what you're looking for. They've got a really nice salad bar here. I wish I lived closer. It is only 35 baht per 100 grams, so that is $10 per kilogram, which is less than half of what I would have paid for this back in the US. Probably my favorite fruit here in Thailand, watermelon. It is so juicy. It is 37 baht per kilogram, so that's a dollar per kilo. And this right here, which is 1.5 kilograms, is 53 baht, about $1.15. Great deal. Mandarin oranges, 75 baht per kilogram. That's a little over $2 per kilo. Apples can be definitely a little pricey here, but they've got my favorite, Fuji apples. Three of them are 65 baht, so that is a little under $2 US. Right next to them, we've got green apples. These are 59 baht from France. These look pretty good, but I prefer the reds. Here's another thing that is quite expensive here in Thailand. These are strawberries, and you're looking at 399 baht, a little over $10 for these puny, puny little strawberries. Very, very expensive. And at the same time, there are things that are extremely cheap, like mangoes, either the green or the yellow. Looking at 59 baht for a kilo, that is about $1.70 for a kilogram of mangoes. I really never tried pomelo till I moved to Thailand. It's kind of like a grapefruit, and this package is going to be 89 baht, which is gonna be uh, just a little under $3. Onions, 35 baht per kilogram, approximately $1 per kilo, quite inexpensive. The red onions are 49 baht, which is about $1.20. And if you want organic fruits and vegetables, they definitely have them here, but you're gonna pay a premium for them. This corn is 59 baht for two pieces. That is about $1.75, which is quite a bit more than regular corn. Cold cuts are another thing that is pretty pricey here. We have here a package of salami, 190 baht for probably, I don't know, 200 grams, which is, uh, again, about uh, six, seven dollars US. Uh, more, 220, this is about, this is Italian ham, eight dollars US. Cheese is another product that doesn't get used a lot in Thai cooking, so it tends to be a little bit more on the expensive side. You're looking at about, uh, two dollars actually 126 bots so this is about three dollars for 142 milligrams or grams sorry <laughs> Even here at Lotus, they have these ready-to-go meals. 99 baht for this quite generous meal. That is $3 US. A loaf of bread will set you back 42 baht for a whole loaf. It's about $1.15. Really quite reasonable. When it comes to eggs, there is a wide variety here. No, they do not refrigerate them. You don't have to refrigerate your eggs, believe it or not, if they have not been refrigerated to begin with. And for a dozen cage-free eggs, we're looking at 75 baht, which is just a little over $2. And yes, you might be shocked that all of these eggs are not refrigerated, but my understanding is something to do with pasteurization, and they're perfectly fine sitting out of the fridge. They don't go bad. I've eaten eggs that sit out it's a totally different way of storing them bananas are also plentiful and they're 25 baht per kilogram which is what that's about 70 cents anytime you buy any kind of fruit or vegetables or products that need to be weighed they'll actually weigh them at this station here before you go to the checkout counter and while i'm here i'm going to take a small bag of oranges kapunakap what is that 38 baht for these four oranges so that's just a little over a dollar Tomatoes, 150 baht per kilogram. That is approximately $4. Cucumbers are 75 baht per kilogram. That is approximately $2. And over here we've got broccoli, which is 65 baht per kilogram, which is again, just a little under $2. I think I've gotten everything that I need here, so it is time to get rung up. Let's get in line here and see how much we end up spending. Not really sure how much all this is gonna be. I also have to buy bags because I didn't bring any. And the grand total is going to be 2,601 Thai baht. Well, there we have it, 2,601 baht, which works out to be $75 US. Hope you've enjoyed this shopping trip with me, guys. Please check out some of these other videos. Please don't forget to take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon in another one of my videos. Bye, guys.